guys, what's going on? It's Fire Nick here. We're back in... I don't know what map Pacific is this one, but we're on the America map in Farming Simulator 2019, and it is episode 4. So what we're going to do today is we're going to... What tractor do we want on the display? Hmm. I don't know. It's a hard decision. I think this tractor is probably going to end up going on the rake. We'll throw that one on the baler. That leaves this one for the display. The 6145M. I love this M tractor. It's one of my favorite tractors of John Deere ones right so far right now in here. Let's roll this guy up. We passed the display a little bit. We're going to try that trailer on the bales today. Um, there isn't really no good bale trailer like there was in 17 and 15. So I'm kind of disappointed that they took that out. All right, let's head up. I bought a field. Um, I bought this field down here. I bought all this land down in here. It's nice green and all that stuff, so we can um, mow down in there. But we're going to get right into it today. We're not going to be messing around. We're getting straight to work. So we got everything planted. Just roll it up. There you go. Ooh, I should have filled up full of fuel. Guess we're going to have to stop and get fuel here somewhere. I forgot to fill up. That's okay. This tractor, I like it. It looks pretty good on this disc one, wouldn't you say, guys? Yeah. So I'm just plugging away at videos. Yeah, they're recorded back to back. And I'm not quite sure on what dog name you guys really want. So I will check on the way up while we're driving here. I'll look that up quick. So you guys should have 19 by now, I'm thinking. But yeah, like if you guys want to check out, if you guys want to see lots of live streams, ask questions, see different pieces of equipment that you guys haven't seen in videos on here or squads or whatever, and if something rare that you guys really, really want to see or just buy it, go test it out a little bit, go and follow, go and fo follow my channel in the description there. Um, yeah, James over there, he'll be streaming over there constantly, every day at least or so. So he'll be over there streaming for you guys. And I'll be just working on videos, and I'll be probably in the chat, but I'll be working on other stuff. Yikes. Took that pole out just about. Alright, this is where I was thinking about mowing down here. So let's hope this will work. I've never mowed anything at all in 19. Some nice trees in the way, but that's okay. Let's open this guy up. We don't need no lights. Where do we? That's cool how there's lights in the back of the disc button. It's pretty cool. There's your uh, PTO shaking, like always. Alright, let's get into her. Where are we gonna start? Stick the disc button over here. Strawberry, her and away we go. We're all good? Alrighty. So this is my first attempt of mowing hay, making hay. Um, it's either up to getting cows or sheep. I'm not sure yet. We'll wait and see. But I'm thinking I am honestly want to get some cows going for once on here. We'll do some chopping. We're not going to have too much. We don't even have silage. But worst comes to worst, we buy silage bales for the first little bit until we really want to get a silo and all that stuff. So we can go way back in here because we need lots of hay if we're going to plan on going with cows so we're gonna mow this all down but even though there's not really a heck of a lot right here to actually get mowed up but we could be using like a big M but I want to do like a realistic ser series not a server but a series so we're getting up on the hill a little bit the nice thing is when you get your edge put might have to, maybe we should come down here and clear these trees out of here and we can make a better hay field. But we'll just come right out into the road. That way we don't have to put a headland on the front. We got all this road room and there's no one driving on the road, so it's kind of nice. We'll just whip this bad boy around. So now, we'll see how good it is. It was like this in 17. We should be able to drive on the windrow. And we should not be able to miss any. We shouldn't be missing any except on your turns. Uh, that grass not want to mow? 
Oh, that's where we uh, drove, and it doesn't quite cut it all up. That's kind of cool, but I guess it's kind of flattened over. Yeah. Huh. We should do it the other way, then. We'll learn. We'll get her all figured out. Probably give me a week, and we'll have this game down pretty good. We'll know the game better, and... Uh, We'll know what we can do and what will happen if we drive here and there. So just we're just experimenting, really. That's basically all we're doing. We're just showing you guys what what's like the game, and I would really recommend pure order in this game. It's awesome. Like there's no if and buts about it. Um, just make sure you have a nice computer to run it, or else. It might be a little laggy on your end, but I'd recommend it. Either if you don't have a a decent computer to run it, I'd constantly just say go and buy yourself like a console or something like that. It'll be less laggy for you because you're on the console, so it'd be. Of course, you won't get all the mods, but that way you're not complaining about the lag. Because I know there's been a lot of people. I've had lots of people come to the streams and say it's laggy and stuff when they play it and how is your so good it's just because I got such a good custom built computer that's why it's not laggy on my end because I've customized and I still have not got it figured out on why I cannot pick the head off the header trailer on that specific header trailer I haven't tried it quite on another one yet but that's one thing I need to look into if it's just all of them or am I doing something wrong I don't know. I'll have to mess around with that a little bit. I still haven't got that part figured out. Oh, yeah. You guys want the dog name? Yeah, yeah. Just give me one. Alright. Looks like Rocky is. So, our dog name is Rocky. Is that Rocky way over here? I like that name. It's a nice name. Uh, the dirt... Bike, bikes came up with that. I bought. That's where you put it, and then everyone summed it up. So that's where I got it from. So there you go, the dirty or dirt bikes. Five sixty. There you go. Thanks for coming up with a great name. We can just mow this hay down really quick. That's good. Then we can go get the tractor and tatter. Head this stuff up, and then we'll bail it up. Um, let me know what animals you guys want, and we'll make it happen. But I know they're going to be, so I'm just going to have to guess, but we'll probably end up getting some... I don't know. What do you really, What do you think's better? We'll see. We'll see how stuff goes. We might be doing, like... We won't be a live stream. Well, there be, should be a live stream this Friday coming up. Um, James and I will do a nice live stream with you guys. We'll get cows or something then on the live stream. But otherwise, we'll just keep doing this. We'll have to find a spot for this hay. Unless we stack it outside down here, or we could just get another placeable and place it down here too. There's another option. There's lots of options what we can and can't do there. So there's a bit of grass there you can't really mow. Funny thing is we don't have to keep turning. Just go up one side, go down the other. Makes it pretty simple. See, this is what we were running on our disbine because we got a loaner the other day. Because we've had this track, we've had it. We have a 6120M right now because um, the 6125R is gone. No more with it, so we're either gonna buy that or we'll buy something similar for another tractor. We just don't need the loader anymore. Plus, it was getting up on hours. Plus, we lease the stuff, so if it's four years, then we either have the option of buying it outright or sending it back. We usually just send it back because it's got the hours on it and it isn't worth it. It's probably it's usually cheaper to just send your tractor back and get a new one. So, and lease a new one for four years or buy it outright. There's a thing too. It just depends if you're going to use it a lot and what it's mostly going to be 
what's the main purpose for the tractor. That's the way we put it. So, yeah. Um, what else was I going to ask you guys? Something else. I can't remember what it was. I'll take the tree out. Oh, we forgot fuel. You want to run the tractor out of fuel? Let's do it. Let's run the tractor out of fuel. It sounds like a perfect idea. Best idea ever. I don't know what happened there. Whoops, my bad. Alright, I don't know what was going on. My computer is acting up. So we're back here now. Whatever was going on. Let's take a full width of the disbine here. I wonder how wide this disbine actually is, honestly. It's got a good width to it. Should get a couple cuttings off down here. Nice little hay field. So this is what I'd like to do. As I go around into the field a few times, I do this in real life. I don't cut much hay, honestly. And then you drop her down. And you just go up and down the field and work the other way. So I usually like to go around the field six to eight times. And then we would leave it for a couple of days, rake it up, bale it. And then we turn around and come and do the inside. That way you're not driving all over your, your hay. Or grassy, ripe, or alfalfa stuff like that. That way you're not just compacting it, flattening it out, and then it gets all smooshed and then it doesn't dry, and then it, you gotta rake it up again. So it's just a hassle. Unless we did do it one time this year where we um, we did come through and we did bale every, or cut everything at once because they were talking rain. This year was kind of like a, I don't know what you kind of this year I'll call it, it was a messed up year, this summer at least. I guess this whole year has been weird. It's been so wet, and we haven't been getting like a normal... We haven't got a normal winter since like 2010 or something, I'd say. Like, who wants a snow day? I know you guys want snow days, don't you? Like, snow days are fun. Huh? Yeah. Stay home. Stay home from school. Play some Farming Simulator 19. Why not? Best thing ever. Okay, I hope that's the last time. Steam was driving me up the wall. But yeah, I'd like a snow day. Play some Farming Simulator 19 with you guys one of these days. On the PC. How's that sound? One of these days we'll do... We might do an open stream on my channel the Monday or so. James and Matthew and Carson. They might be all... We might be all... They might be all doing a stream for you guys where you get... It's an open one and... Or it could be a big one on dedicated server. And you guys will probably be welcome to join. It's up to them, really. Because I will not be around Monday. Well, I guess this video might not even... Go I don't, I'm not sure when this video is going to. It might be going on Monday. It's hard to say. It's mixing me up when I'm posting two videos a day. So. But I want to post daily for you guys. Two videos a day. Tirebug's probably going to be posting two videos or three a day. I'm not quite sure on him. I haven't talked to him in a while. Um, so, yeah. One day I'll post two videos, the entire bug will post two tomorrow. So. Or, I don't know how that's going to work. Or he might post one, I might post the early ones in the morning, and then he could post in the afternoon. We'll just see how things go. Doesn't matter to me. We'll do something like that.
Almost took the tree with us. Now, this is going to be fun. We're going to go back over here. Because we don't want to drive out in that hay again and lose some more hay. Grass, technically. Did I miss it? Yep. We got a little bit of a crook in her, but it's okay. We'll get her mowed out. You won't hardly know it when you bail it. Time you bail it and rake it and everything. Listen to the mower a bit. This this is a nice setup right here. I'm not gonna lie. I think I like disbine it using the disbine a lot more with this tractor than anything. It's a nice style. It's like your perfect style for mowing. I don't know, just maybe because I did it once in real life and I ran this tractor on a disbine in real life. I don't know. That could have been it too. So it's hard to say. We'll do the same thing. We drive just about right up to it. Pick her up and back up. Come back down around. I guess we're going to lose over here some. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to have to bite the bullet and do it anyways. Oh, we're going to hit her. There we go. A little sweet driving there. Shucking and driving. It's not yielding too good, probably because it's just. It's not an average field either. Because I never put any fertilizer on it. I'm probably quite sure that you can probably put fertilizer on this stuff. But I really want to get some horses in this game too. Maybe that's what we'll get. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get horses. That sounds like a perfect idea. Next video, we'll get some horses going. If we get enough hay made here. We might have to wait till after. I'm not sure what horses all require. Two. So there's another thing we got to look into. Too. Like, I'm honestly happy that there is horses because... I show heavy horses in real life at some of the local fairs in Canada. So, er, yeah, in Canada, Ontario. So, I show a lot of horses and stuff like that. That's where I was doing all over the summer. So we went to about, I think we only went to six to eight fairs. Yeah, about six to five fairs this year because either we were haying or the it got rained out or it was going to rain and then... It didn't end up raining, or they called canceled it because the ground was too wet, and they didn't want to tear it up with all the horses and pickup trucks and all the truck trailers come in and park their trailers for the horses and stuff. So, or you would just go and you'd show halter and all that stuff. But just look up heavy horse shows. Look up that stuff if you're curious. If you're not sure what I'm all talking about, just look up heavy horse shows. Should be lots of videos on that, or yeah. Or else I could probably try and make one one of these days and talk a little bit about that. But there will be equipment tour, tour probably in about a month. Everything should be all cleaned up. But we still got a good 200 acres to plow if we get there. Not our own. It's for uh, the guy that did all our trucking. He wants some plowing done. So let's just take it off the truck bill and we're all good. Help him out. He helped us out. He stayed up late and trucked corn for us. So we're going to help him out. Go by... Uh, Going ripping for him with the 93 and the ripper. One of these days, 200 acres or so of bean ground, but it's all right. Um, I think there's still about somewhere between 80 acres of corn to pick, and then it's time to wash everything up. It's quite a bit, but we'll get her done. Drop this bad boy in.
trying to straighten this field out a bit. I don't know if that's working, but we'll see. We still got fuel, that's surprising. We shouldn't burn that much fuel anyways, just cutting it. Would be a different story if we were running her a little hard. Bigger mower, yeah, I'd burn a little more fuel. But we're hardly using the tractor. We're running it a bit, but you know. It's kinda average. You'd probably pull more doing burn more fuel pulling the plows and the planters. That's where we burned it all right there. Doing all that stuff. In the ground, yep. You know, some days I honestly forget that there is horses, and I honestly forget that I have 19, honestly, because I'm so used to saying Farming Simulator 17, it's hard to believe that 19 is already here. You know, Christmas is just right around the corner, too. It's not too long, Christmas will be here, next we know it. So you guys getting excited for Christmas? The snow, you guys getting lots of snow where you guys are? We got probably a good three to four or five inches here. Somewhere about five inches or so of snow. Or not inches, centimeters. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm tired. It's just I've been staying up late doing lots of videos and stuff for you guys, getting them all done, and that way I'm always ahead, so I'm recording videos because I'm going to get a little bit busy during the couple first days of this week, so. Yeah, I'm staying on top of things. Trying to, at least, you know. Let's go around her. I think this... This one will, I think it'll buff out. That will just go down like that. Now they're getting so close we can just go end to end. Easier than turning right around all the time. Just keep her uh, moving. Fuel looks like it's getting down. We're gonna have to maintenance this thing soon as well the wrench up there i think that's what it means by repair it like what we had to do with kind of seasons mod when you use seasons you had to repair it your tractor every so many hours i think that's pretty what all that means or basically what it means honestly so we'll find out when we uh we'll have to we got a placeable workshop so when we get back home with this tractor we'll pull the pin on this and we'll probably do some of that. Leave the disc behind probably out because it's warm. Let the tractor cool off because you've been using it. I don't like parking. Our sheds are not like all closed so they're all open too. But I wish there was a nice American big shed in FS19. But it's okay. I missed that tree. You guys probably think I'm a bad driver as well, don't you? Hey, other way. Alright. There we go. So now it's basically just turning around. That's what I hate about these odd shaped fields. All you're doing is Going up one side and you turn right around. So it's probably going to be easier to do this way because it's nice and straight over here. That's kind of cool when you, you can see where you're driving and you can't cut it. That's another cool feature I say. There's more birds. There's birds all over this place. We're 
we're uh, wrapping up this field here. Surely quick. It doesn't take long to mow hay down, I'd say. I honestly don't mind it with this. I could go for days mowing hay with this setup right here. If I had GPS, yeah, I could do it. But don't you worry, there'll be probably GPS converted over here in the first week of Farming Simulator 19, I guarantee it. Won't be too long, and I imagine it'll be here. That's it. Anything up here we wanted to get more? I don't really want to mow on that hill, because that hill will be kind of weird. Pull her up and we'll go out here. Make a gateway. Now, where's the closest gas station, I wonder? Throw these flashers on. Let's go find one. I think there's one right here, yeah. Perfect. Might look a little weird with the tractor disbine coming to roar in here. fill up. Oh, I guess when you repair it, uh, you get better uh, you're repairing it too at the same time as you're getting fuel. It's a nice cool feature. Now, let's get out here and look at all these uh, pumps. They did pretty detail on these. Yeah. Let's more over here. Hmm. A little strange. There's a lift. Got lots here. It's pretty cool. Decent. Let's bag her up. Almost took the pole with us. Alrighty, let's roll it down to the home farm. I guess we could just park this thing in the shed. Bring the tether up. And we'll get Ted in later. Flip this guy around. So probably by next video the crops should be coming or starting to come up. Or maybe speed up time just a little bit. Not too quick. I guess we really don't want it because it'll grow our grass up again. So I guess we really can't speed up the time. That's all right. I don't know why it was slowing down, that's kind of weird. Turn these flies off, we don't need them, we're down here in our main kind of yard. Back this guy up over here. Put this tractor probably on the uh, rake. I guess that's as far as it wants to go. There's a train. Wrong one. Let's put this guy on the old tether. 
And we'll get him ready to rock and roll. That's kind of weird, looking at yourself in the mirror back here. It's kind of a weird spot. Dogie. Back this bad boy up. Up she comes. Let's run this guy up to the um, field right now and we can start tending a bit. This thing goes 32 mile an hour, so we're uh, gaining there. Goes faster than the 6M. The 6R in the in the case here, they go both go the same speed, so that's a nice feature for road running mostly. That way, I don't I don't really like using the 6M for mostly road running just to go pick up something. I'd basically either use this tractor or I'd use the 6R. Mostly, it's most of the time it's the 6R just because I got the loader frame on there just in case I knock something over or. I have to go and pick up another attachment or something. I usually take it. So there's a field of corn there we could end up buying and shopping too if we really wanted to. No stop sign here. That's good. Or did I clear it out? I don't know. That car is in a bad spot. I'd say so. Just the other side of this pole I came. Right there. That's kind of cool how you can see your tracks. Brakes. Let's drop her in. Let's see what she's got. You can hear the engine roaring. Let's try something here. We might have been going too fast, but I never heard of that one. I think it's just because we're on such a hill and these things do not flex. We'll end up probably leaving that row of grass up there. We'll mix it in probably. We'll just mix her in the bale. They won't know the difference. Oh yeah, now we should be able to wind her up. Yep. So I guess that's all it was. Let's see what it does in this hill. It does something similar, but... I guess that's how it is. Let's light it up like a Christmas tree. I wonder if you could just go through and just ted the grass right out. That'd be kind of cool. Can we? No, it does it just bend it over. That'd be kind of cool. We could just mow with the tether. Or get rid of the grass with the tether. That'd be kind of cool. Just bend it over like a lot of the things now. Now, I wonder if we can get this row up here. Not there. There it wants to work. It's a little strange. I guess it's hills, but I wish the implement would 
flex a little more on these hills because yeah it would flex in real life to do your needs and stuff so that's another thing I wish was moving in 19 but I guess they're trying to make it real as possible and I'm not going to say nothing bad here but Giants I don't think they've really ever used some of this I don't think a lot of them are farmers and they don't they know a bit about farming, but I don't think they know, like, every little detail. I know they're learning, too, but, yeah, like, they're getting there. Like, Giants have came a long way since 2019, so I really can't put nothing bad on right there. So. Let's back this guy up. Alrighty, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And don't forget to turn on post notifications, and we'll see you next time.